Hey, how's it, Ang, my peeps? We're going to be playing Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire demo again. Uh, this is the last and third, third and last, that one, part of the demo. Last time we left off, we cleared five parts of the demo, so we're going to be finishing it today, uh, playing six through ten to see what we're going to be doing. I just received some gifts. I don't know what they were. I wasn't looking. Uh, yeah, just to make you guys aware, and to let you know that I am aware that the audio is out of sync for this video. Uh, I'm not sure about how the narration is, well, how the narration will be, uh, whether that will be in sync, probably not. So you'll have to forgive me if I reveal something that's about to happen in about 10 seconds time, uh, or if I'm 10 seconds late and just look stupid. Um, I'm not sure what the problem is. I did exactly what I did with the other videos, and yeah, it seems to be out of sync dramatically. Uh, I tried changing it, and then it was out of sync somewhere else. So I would. I'm strong, I won't cry if I lose. Um, so I tried dragging it. Camper Larry again? You can't get enough. Um, I tried cutting the audio out uh, at the parts where it skipped and dragging it back into place, but once I got it in sync there, later on down the line, it was out of sync again. So there would just be loads of. It'd be a lot of pain. Uh, it'd be a big pain. That's the one um, to get it all synced up again, and there would be loads of chunks of audio missing in places. And in all fairness, I've turned the audio down that quiet so that you can hear my stupid voice. Uh, you probably won't notice anyway. But just thought I'd let you know because, no, my luck, you will notice. You're gonna notice now anyway because I've said, "Wow," as I've said. I'm gonna shut up now and get on with the game. I think we're just fighting against trainers on this part of the demo. No Pokemon or people to be found. Camping's fun, but Pokemon battles the best of all. These are just the same people that I fought against before. Camp Shane, there we go. Just get my groove on in the bottom screen if you can see the faint. Way too strong. You're way too weak, little boy. Okay, let's have an all-out battle. I'll show you Pokemon as well as training Jagged Pass. Can someone remind me in the comments, please, where Jagged Pass is? Because they keep referring to it. I don't remember what goes on in Jagged Pass. <sighs> you don't have to remind me. No, I was just curious. I battled with full force and now I'm full of frustration. Congratulations, you've defeated all the trainers. Looks like you've done and finished this turn, but back. Sixth part of the demo over. They're slowly ruining the flying for me. Because the amount of times that we see it now, it's just. Yeah, goodbye for. Oh, uh, cutscene.
Uh, uh. Um, yeah. Flying looks like fun. But it gets a bit tedious after watching it that many times. There's a new face in Mosdy! Going on a bit of an adventure. <laughs> That's the best feature of the new games, I must admit. I'm gonna. I'll look for the new faces at the very end of the demo because there's no point in keep looking for them. Somewhere on this island, a poor figure huddles lost and alone. I know you could find it and uh, good times are filled with good aromas. Gormish. Smell the best scent of misery. Woe is me. Here, uh, here, there, I'm lazy. Day off. Sneaking Pokemon. There's a girl behind this tree. Wow, did you come to find me? Thanks a lot. I got separated from my twin here. Seventh part over. We're bossing the demo. That's you. Uh, thank you, Orlando. You, you, goodbye. Don't worry guys, it'll soon be over. Once you finish the demo, we won't ever have to watch this cutscene again. New face, Mars D. Uh, the um, the camera footage that I filmed plays in sync on Windows Media Player, even though there's a skip um, at the start, it plays on fine, but for some reason, um, <coughs> the, the same video, when imported into Adobe, or any program for that matter, for some reason, the skip affects the audio in a way that it doesn't affect it while it's playing. Um, I don't quite understand it. Yes. Uh, battle with me. Sailor Edmund. Palapa.
This guy is amazing. I'm usually troll, but this I'm just seasick as a dog. I have a sit. Oh, you used this then, aren't you, really? Good job. What is this? They appear to be some ruins of sorts. Welcome, scamp. I'm buff. I'm a tough sailor. I brave the ocean seas. Sailor Ernest. I couldn't win. What's over here? A ladder of sorts. Something in the bushes. It's a pillar hut. I can't remember if the trees looked that good in X and Y. Uh, like, they looked amazing. I mean, if they looked that good. Um. Is the trees look very good in this game and you can see quite far into the background you can see I have nothing to talk about because I'm commenting on the background so that's all you're gonna get what's that rustling sound if the audio is out of sync there is a rustling in the grass I've seen a few things pop up in the grass and I'm quite curious as to what they are, but there's nothing there, and now I've just wasted everyone's time to find an absol, which I can't even catch. Plastic hair, immeasurable. I'm gonna flame it, burn it down. That's what we're gonna do. I like Mega Blaziken a lot more since I realised that the hair that seems to be growing on its body isn't a beard. Because when I first saw it, I assumed that that was a beard. And chickens with beards don't bode well with me. I'll switch out the swamp out so that we get the the big old beast up front. Big old fat beast. Stupid stupid thing. I've laid anchor in ports around the slate port is the best. Sailor Huey. I'm not going to shout when he evolves now. Good. Good choice. Oh, pro. Now we're going to have to recharge as well, so... I'm just going to... Hold on a bit. You're the... what? You're the best. He's praising me for beating him. Uh, I think that's the... Eighth? Eighth part, please? 
so two more parts to go. I think the last one is another elder, elderly, veteran sort of battle. Um, and the ninth one is another missing Pokemon thing. So not very missing at all. Steve would probably be hold, holding, holding the Pokemon when we arrive. So you return, uh, let's go on an adventure, yay! Let's go. Certain island, uh, give me a hand, something. Will you help me search this island for the skitty I seek? over here. Same woman. Awesome music again. I'm rocking out to it again. Just to let you know. Loud red. I went all out. You sure did. How are you guys doing anyway? I don't really have much to talk about um, thus far. So, are you all well? Just, uh, as a personal thanks, thank you very much to the people who have watched the video so far, and a very big thanks to the three people who have commented, uh, two who have liked and two who have subscribed as well. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. Uh, info about the demo code giveaway, I will tell you towards the end of the video, but um, it won't be revealed in this this um, demo part. I'll be, as I commented, I think somewhere before. Uh, I'll be making an update video uh, where I will divulge the information on who has won. But I mean, I can't give it away now because I still don't know. Uh, but I still got to give people a chance to comment. At the moment, there are only three people, so chances are pretty high that one of those three people are going to win if um, if no one else comments. So, yeah, just to let those guys know, if no one else comments between the time that I make the update video and now, they have a one in three chance, which is pretty good odds. Uh, well where is Skitty? Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I'll give, give more information towards the end of the video.
so as not to take off time. And I mean a lot of people who want to find out information will most likely skip towards the end because they're not going to expect info in the oh there it is info in the middle of a video. It's just like I said. There isn't much to say because we've already done these parts of the game really, it's just set on a different island. For example, that was the place where I found that missing girl. And there was a skitty there to find as well. You know what this this demo reminds me of? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The um the notice board, which is like find a lost Pokemon in this mountain. Go find some berries for people and stuff like that. Like the missions that you have to do. Imagine that Steven is just collecting these requests and just making me do them for him instead. That's what I think anyway. Nine times, so this should be the last one. Uh, heart scales, good. It's actually quite useful. Just as a, um, a notice, I'm the fossil monia. Ma monia, maniac fossil Devon. His son lives or not? Um, still can't go in the gym. Don't try it. I've tried it. I didn't get in. Yeah, just to let you guys know. Um, again, don't comment in this section. Even though I told you earlier to remind me about Jagged Pass. Uh, do that in the on the first video comment section uh, if you're kind enough to let me know the scientists here what's he got to say hello young lad have you seen any shrew mission I really love that but it really looks like no, no, no never mind Rustboro um, yeah make sure to comment on the first video if you want to tell me about Jagged Pass um, and also question to you if you are getting the like, are you excited about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? And if you are, which you should be, even if you're not getting it, which one are you getting? And what start Pokemon are you thinking of choosing as well? Um, just as a Q&A. It would be nice to hear what you guys have to say regarding the games. You've already heard what he has to say. But I do see Watson's leg in the corner. Mm. Watson. Oh, haven't I met you somewhere before? Ha ha ha. You look like a young fellow worth. I'm looking forward to the day electrifying battle. Ha ha ha. And also uh, your opinions on the Megas as well. Yes, if you're looking for me, I'm Stern. I'm sorry, I'm working with partner Doc here to hammer out the plans for our new ship. Let's talk next time when we have more time, okay? Uh, if this goes here, what? Yeah, do hickey, heads, tails. Is there anything over here now? Nope, nope. Nope, not in that spot either. Useless. Waste of time. Wasting my time. And more importantly, wasting your time. Splish Blush. I'm looking for the Kalos Swimmer because I would like to exchange tails with him. But I believe I'm unsuccessful thus, th thus far. Flan Flan again. Sounds disgusting. We've got Flannery. Um, and no one over here. Yeah, and uh, your opinions on the Megas as well. That would be pretty cool to find out if you guys think the same as me. Although, a lot of people do seem to like a lot of the Mega Designs, and I don't like very many of them. So, 
we probably won't have the same opinions, but like I say, they are opinions. Um, if you don't agree with me, it don't matter. Personal favourite, Mega Beedrill. He's busting those extra spikes and he looks more robotic and just gives a chance for Beedrill to be a lot better than he is because Beedrill looks pretty cool. Um, personally, I like Beedrill more than Butterfree because it's a bee and I don't like butterflies. The way that they fly is creepy. Um, it's like fluttering but you don't know what they're thinking. Theodore, he's the brother of the other guy. Theodore, the other guy was Timothy, I think. Ooh, he's got a Blaziken. I'm guessing he has the three starters, and I think it'd be pretty sweet if he had a Mega, like if he had Steelix, because we've got Blaylee. That'd be cool, and a good way to advertise the other Mega that we can't get as we don't live in Japan. I don't feel that this is time to Mega so we're just gonna drown the chicken. Drown that chicken man! Glug glug sucker. He's not dead. Uh, that one. We'll kill him this time. That's what they're gonna do. Yeah, um, I wasn't really a big fan of Mega Rayquaza when I first saw him um, because the screenshots didn't look that great. Um, I didn't think that he had a mouth either. I thought of those hints of things, but I don't know. He just looks silly, but he looks pretty cool. I'm still not getting the whole Mega Rayquaza thing. I thought that'd be primal. Um, but it'd be pretty cool if they make a Mega and a Primal version of him, so it's like Mewtwo with uh, Mewtwo X and Y and like Charizard as well. Um, but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think uh, about the Megas that have been revealed and your opinions on them. Uh, my Blaziken is nearly dead, but he still bossed it. Killed, killed another one of his Pokemon. Yeah, it'd just be nice to know what you guys think about all of the information. I'm personally the mo the thing that I'm most excited about in the new games is uh, the fact that pretty much all of the legendaries are in there. It's just going to be cool to see them all in their 3D designs. Um, I'm very looking forward to. Dialga and Palkia because we haven't seen them since Pearl and Diamond. I am hoping that as this Palkia and Dialga, it'd be pretty sweet if Giratina was hidden somewhere in the game as well. Probably not, but it'd be cool. It'd be cool to see what um, the distortion world would look like with these new graphics. Personally, I do love Pokemon Platinum. One of my I'll say one of my favourites, but I don't quite know what my favourites are. Uh, but I did really love it because just the story about Giratina, who I liked a lot more than Palkia and Dialga. Sorry, we're just about to die here. Come on, freeze him. Freeze him! Yes! What are the odds? Now he's just going to switch out back to Sep Septar. Kill him while he can't do anything. I think it's really awesome that he's. I didn't even notice that he was frozen, like he was actually still. That's really cool. That's a really good feature. I've never even noticed that before. Still frozen. Come on. Get another aerial icing. Kill him. Kill him! Yes! Um, I've lost my train of thought. But he's lost altogether, so that's good. Oh, he didn't He didn't have a Mega Steelix, he had a Harry Armour. Just noticed. 
a bit disappointing. It'd be nice to see you Mega Steelix for us European American people. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys. That's all three parts of the demo completed. Everything is done, diddly done. Um, thank you very much for supporting me and sticking with me throughout these episodes. Um, yeah, basically to reveal about the demo, the 28th is when I'll make the update video, one month away from the game's actual release in Europe. So I'll be speaking about what's going to happen when I do make a playthrough for that. Uh, that will also be the interactive video that I mentioned in my first video. If you haven't watched the first video, go back and watch that if you would be so kind. Um, if you don't want to, that's fair enough. When the interactive video comes out, it'll explain everything anyway. Um, so yeah, I will explain who the winner is, randomly choose them from the comments in the first video. Make sure that you comment in the first one. The commenting, commenting here is useless, you won't get anything apart from pain and misery. Um, so comment in the first one and on the 28th of this month, October, I will randomly select one winner from the, I've got some more heart scales, from the um, comment section of the first video, randomly select them and then email them the demo code. Um, there's a shroomish over there. Shroom? Yes, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't comment here, comment on the first video again. Um, Sorry for repeating myself, and yeah, I'll see you later. Make sure to check out the update video and watch it all the way through because it is very important about what's going to happen with the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Cold confirmed.